You still have time to get today's Del Marva Life Daily Deal. $20 worth of fabulous food for only $10 at the Irish Penny Pub in Salisbury. Woohoo! Uh, you can get the Daily Deal on DelMarvaLife.com or download the free Del Marva Life Daily Deal app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android and get our great deals right there in the palm of your hand. Well, through the month of July, we introduced you to more than 40 animals that are sitting in various animal shelters here on Delmarva, each and every one of them waiting to be adopted. And thanks to you, several of the animals we've featured have found homes. We want to keep those success stories going, so Brian Spiros is back at us. He joins us from the Humane Society of Wicomico County in Salisbury. Brian? Well, Jimmy and Lisa, you mentioned all the animals we introduced you to in July, but now there's a whole other group of animals and they all want some face time. And joining me now to talk all about it is David Fitzgerald, who is the executive director of the Humane Society of Wicomico County. So David, what do you have for us today? Brian, today we have two dogs and two cats for you. All right, four animals. We're gonna hopefully try to find a home for them. So let's start first. We have Dudley. Let's bring Dudley on over. Tell us about Dudley. Dudley's a five month old. He's a spay neutered male. He's a Boston Terrier pit bull mix. Uh, came to us, had a little rough start with his life. Uh, he's just getting five months old, so we'd like to find Dudley a new home and like to encourage people to come in and visit with Dudley. Now he likes exercise. Likes exercise. He's a puppy. He's five months old, so he's going to need a family who's got a lot of time for training and exercise. And we should mention too, he also likes cats and dogs. He's good with them. So if you already have a cat and a dog, if you already have animals. That's wonderful. Go. Dudley make you certainly a new addition to your home. Come on out and visit with Dudley, fill an application out, and we'll go forward from there. All right, very good. Dudley, thank you very much. We're going to find you a home. And next we have Pacey. We're going to bring Pacey on in. Tell us about Pacey. P Pacey's, uh, we're going to go from one extreme, from a puppy to an eight-year-old. Uh, the older dogs certainly are a wonderful addition to the family. We encourage uh, someone to come in and look at Pacey. Pacey's a senior girl. Again, she's eight years old. So she's... Uh, we're encouraging no children, uh, no other pets, uh, especially no cats. So Dudley's looking for a home that's a little more low key. Uh, so we, again, we encourage people to come in who have especially time to spend with uh, Pacey, but it's a little more of a low key home than the puppy that we just showed you. Got it. And we should mention too that Pacey loves going for rides. Oh, loves going for rides. So a, a nice family that's just looking for that pet to go for rides and spend time, a, a couch potato. There you go. You got a wonderful new addition All to your right, family. All right. Very good. Pacey, thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Pacey. So next we're going to go to the cats. We have Bolt next. Sure. Bolt. Tell us about Bolt. Bolt's one of our black cats, and we're going to start running a black cat special starting September 3rd. The black cats are going to be $75 for adoption from September 3rd to to Friday, September 13th. Uh, black cats are a little hard for us to adopt, so we run specials on them. We have about 15 black cats now. Uh, Bolt came to us as a stray, pretty shy cat, but it's a medium hair cat. We have domestic short hairs and medium cares available. Uh, came to us as a stray, but certainly looking for its forever home. And he is neutered as well. And he's all neutered. All, all of right, our pets are spayed or neutered. Bolt, thank you very much. And finally, we have Ninja. I like the name. Let's bring Ninja in here. Ninja's Tell a one year, one year old uh, orange tiger, and she's a wonderful cat. Again, uh, you mentioned earlier about being spayed or neutered. All of our animals are spayed or neutered. So Ninja's looking for uh, a new home, and she's a wonderful cat. And we want you to come out and spend some time with all our cats and hopefully uh, have a new addition to your family. A lot of great cats and a lot of black cats, you Yes, said. a lot you, of black you, cats. You and again, we're, we're going to run that special from September 3rd to September 13th, $75 for black cats adopted, and that includes all the shots the license fees, the microchip, the spay neuter. So please come Everything. out, especially between September 3rd and 13th for that All black right, cat very special. Very good. Ninja, thank you very much. Now, the other thing David want to mention is that if people for some reason can't adopt, there are ways they can help you have an event coming up next month. Sure, they can look at our website and look at our entire events calendar, but our premier event is September 28th. It's our golf tournament. We encourage people to go to your website or our website and download the poster and download the flyer. It's going to be September 28th at the Wood Creek Golf Club. Uh, from 8 to 1, $225 a team. We'll take singles and make teams together. So again, a wonderful way to help if you can't adopt, but come to our golf tournament on September 28th. Again, look at your website or our website for registration. For all the information. We, we need to get those in by September 14th. All right, David, very good. Thank you very much. And we also want to mention there's the golf tournament, but there's also donations. If you can donate any items, that would be a tremendous help. Here's what the Humane Society of Wicomico County is looking for. Canned cat and dog food. The types that they're looking for are on their website, as well as kitty litter and old newspapers. So if you have any of that and would like to adopt, you can go ahead and do so. And of course, for more information, just go to our website delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab and with that Jimmy and Lisa will send it back to you guys in the studio. 
And speaking of connecting pets to their forever home, don't forget about Pet Connect on DelmarvaLife.com. Pet Connect is a free service to help lost pets get back home and for abandoned pets to find new homes. Now, if you have found or seen a lost animal, if you have lost a pet, or you're interested in giving an abandoned pet a forever home, use Pet Connect and share it with all of those in your social networks. Check it out, Pet Connect on DelmarvaLife.com. Thanks for watching Delmarva Life. Be sure to join us Monday. Could there be a test that could detect autism during pregnancy? We'll learn more about new revelations in the fight against the disorder. Plus, a local mother raising a child with autism weighs in on the recent story of a family who received a letter, I can't even believe this, suggesting they euthanize their child, autistic their autistic son. Incredible. Uh, the CDC recently said Lyme disease rates are 10 times higher than previously reported. 10 times higher. What you need to know to stay healthy, and a local woman shares her story of what it's like living with the disease. Now, we've all had rough days and have needed some inspiration. We'll share the story of one woman who has an incredible will to succeed and how she keeps a winning attitude. And a water leak inside your home can cost you thousands of dollars. Would you know what to look for? Angie's going to show us how to spot a leak. Plus, the War of 1812 ended centuries ago, but it's coming back to life in Talbot County. We take you inside a new exhibit that's showing how the Eastern Shore played a role in the war. Now, if you missed any of today's information, just visit DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Now, let's hear it one more time for the Joe Bayonne Quartet Band. Thank you. 